In this video, we will look at some options as we route a bypass line. We will examine grips, which can be used to move, reorient, or change out a part. We will route pipe with the compass and using the automatic pipe routing assistant functionality. And we will show placing a part into an existing run of pipe. Okay, I'm going to take a look at some of the grips. First, the move grip. I'm going to click on the move grip and slide this T along the pipe. Notice how the pipe readjusts in length and everything stays connected. There's also this little arrow, which is a flip part grip, flipping my T over in case I wanted it to go the other direction. We also have a rotate grip in case flipping is not what I'm doing. I really want to set it at another angle. So I can set it to go down, for example. We also have a substitute part grip, which will let you change it out to parts of a similar size. Here I changed my T to a reducing T, and now I can route some pipe of a smaller size off this T. Notice as I drag around, different uh, options are available for placing the pipe. This is based on what's in my spec, what size elbows I have. Do I have 45 degree elbows? Do I only have 90 degree elbows? I'll get tick marks in my compass based on those uh, values in the spec. Um, I can also change the plane in which I'm routing. You know, the compass is 2D. I'm trying to route in 3D space. So I can flip the plane of this compass around to change direction I'm routing. I can also use undo to back up a bit, saying, wait, I didn't actually want to go that direction. I want to change things up a little bit. So maybe I want to go along the bottom of this header pipe for my bypass here. I have another T, another reducing T already set up up here, and I want to align to it. So I'm going to use the OTRAC command to line up with that open port. And in the beginning, it really doesn't look like I'm lined up because I'm in this angle in 3D. But we did the align command, so we uh, understand things are lined up. And now I'm going to line up underneath the open port, so I'll line up vertically, and finally complete the route. And here we see that, yes, these are actually aligned. All right, and now take a look a little bit at our auto route command. From the open end of this pipe here, I'm going to hook up to the nozzle on my horizontal tank. So there we go, I'm going to do a node snap over here at this nozzle. I'm not trying to go directly diagonally here, I'm just trying to node snap to this and plant 3D will show me routes that connect from my open port to this nozzle. It has found 10 solutions for me and I can cycle through them. I already passed the one I really want, but I can continue to cycle through these. Hit next to keep seeing the different options. And again, they're based on what elbows are available in my spec. All right, so I'm back at the beginning. That's the uh, one I really want. I'm gonna hit accept. Okay, one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a valve, in this case a flanged gate valve, onto my existing run of pipe. Since this is a flanged valve, the software will automatically insert the mating flanges, gaskets, and bolts for you. There you go, some quick routing examples on how you can easily put pipe in using AutoCAD Plant 3D.